Yeah. I'm sorry that we waited so long to film and you're sleepy now, but... Yeah. Sucks. I know. You'll be more awake for next video. <laughs>
and this clasps shut. And I normally just park that on there for now. That's fine. I put it on in a rush last night. So, here's the final bucket. We have the two pockets for the colostomy and the urostomy. And then you can see here in the back, and the back, they covered up the nephrostomy holes. So, oh. So we're still kind of messing around with the air stuff. Um, I think last time he was in it, I don't think we had the bo I think we had the bottom two inflated. So I'm gonna let a little bit of air out of that this time around and kind of air up the chest plate a little bit before we get him up because it's relatively hard to air up the chest plate once he's up. So we're still trying to figure out that perfect sweet spot with the air pockets, um, but that obviously only comes with time and trial and error. Okay, we'll see how that does for now. So what we're doing today is um, going to an appointment to try a lidocaine treatment. Lidocaine IV treatment. Lidocaine infusion, that's what Lidocaine it's called. Lidocaine infusion. That's what it's called. But it'll be a couple hours of just me chilling there. Oh, my god. We don't have a sock on. <laughs> Can you tell we're just waking up? <laughs> so, um, his new socks are still being worked on because I kept forgetting to send one of these back for them to get measurements, so we just kind of made our own little hole for now. So. It's a actually pretty great hole. <laughs> that she could. This will be easier when we're at home with a trapeze bar because um, Lauren can't really pull himself up or maneuver himself too well right right now um, without trapeze bar. Okay, um, try and push this side down more. So he does sink in once he sits up, um, in case you're wondering why it's so high right now. Okay, yeah, there's too much air in this front. Now we 
sunk down at all. No, you didn't. So like I said, we're still figuring out the kinks. Um, took us a little bit longer to figure it out this time around. Basically, Don't just, let go of me. I'm just a big lard. This bucket's definitely heavier. Um, so, it takes a little more out of me to carry him. Good? This is our rental chair for while we're in Seattle. But didn't come, or did is this seatbelt that they gave us? Yeah. It's an interesting seatbelt, but it works. So, if it keeps him in there safe, I'm not complaining. Like, like lumber. How's that new wheelchair? Honestly, I like it. It's uh, definitely good for big town or big city living. Because it can get around small places. But I, I don't like it on hills and stuff because it doesn't have a tilt feature. So going up hills, like down hills, feels like I'm going to fall out <laughs> or fall forward. Fall out backwards or fall out forwards. He was in pretty bad pain the day after, but we found out that that was due to just him being a little constipated. And once we got that constipation issue worked out, his pain was doing really good. And in our last video, we talked about, you know, how he's been sleeping all day and stuff. He was actually awake all day today. He's just asleep now because it's like 10 o'clock at night. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> well, dozing off. You're dozing off because it's like 10 at night and you already yeah. took your nighttime meds. But... Yeah. He all day today, his pain was at a max. I want to say, like, what, probably a two? Yeah. Yeah. So, um, it looks like the lidocaine infusion has been working, and I think that that's also why we were able to avoid a pain crisis during all of that pharmacy hellhole. Um, so that's really exciting. Since he's been awake all day today and his pain's been okay, we're hoping we'll get the same result tomorrow. Thinking of maybe going to the zoo with him or something, getting him out of the hotel now that he's able to stay awake more. You know, since he's been out of the hospital, he's pretty much been asleep. So today was a really nice change of pace having him up all day. It was really, really nice. <laughs> um, and then uh, you'll see we got the bucket. Works great, fits perfect, it's been amazing. We have rented a power chair since we've been here, which is also really cool. You can connect to it with yeah. your phone via Bluetooth and control it. It folds up, and it's a power chair, and it folds up to fit in the hatchback of the Subaru that our friends have. We have um, our videographer and his girlfriend here helping us out while we're here in Seattle, and they have a Subaru, and this power chair we're rent renting folds to fit in the back of a Subaru which is really cool so we're super mobile right now and we really want to thank Charlie at Access Medical for that he was really quick to help us out at the time we didn't know that it would fit in the Subaru so you know he was quick to figure out delivery for us a super nice guy super diligent really quick helping us figure it out um because we were having a hard time finding somewhere that rented power chairs uh yeah Charlie at Access Medical phenomenal job getting us that power chair and it's it's a great power chair i like it yeah it can, it can uh spit on a dime yeah it's fast so, so, it's, <laughs> and it, so it's it's really nice and compact and super lightweight uh, good, um good, yeah good for, good for tight places 
yeah, really good for tight spaces. It's been, it's been, you know, kind of since the lidocaine infusion, things have been kind of looking up, you know, aside from that pharmacy debacle, out of sight, out of mind. Things have been really looking up. We have a follow-up appointment on the 3rd about the lidocaine infusion to kind of talk about how the week went and going forward. Um, I'm hoping, you know, since it worked so well and he was able to be awake more after we got it and everything like that, that that means it is something that could be a long-term result. Sorry, my nose is itchy. I hate you. I'm sorry. I know, baby. You took your 9 o'clock meds. We forgot to film all day, but that's why I'm making sure that they know you've been awake all day so that they just know that you're sleepy from your sleepy meds. In our next video, he will be more awake <laughs> now that he's been awake more often. We just, like I said, kept forgetting to film and wanted to make sure we got all the updates out to you guys by video release tomorrow. I think I covered everything. If I missed anything, we will have footage for next week to get a video out for you guys, and we'll be able to update you also about our follow-up appointment for the lidocaine infusion. So we'll have some more pain management updates then, and some footage. Hopefully we'll be able to go to the zoo this week. I start school on the 2nd, so I'm hoping to go to the zoo, zoo tomorrow. Yeah, just kind of go from there. Yeah. I'm sorry that we waited so long to film and you're sleepy now, but... Yeah. I know you'll be more awake for next video <laughs> but I think that's everything and thank you to everyone who tuned into the live last week so yeah be sure to like comment and subscribe if you are feeling up to it and those of you who haven't checked out the new merch designs at rikabros.com feel free to go peek your head in and see if there's anything you like I think that's pretty much it um, so we'll see you guys next week Thank you.